Good afternoon, YouTube. It's your man, all the way to George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bodybuilding Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. As you know, it's about the uh, end of the weekend, and it's time for another uh, comparison of certain ladies of the um, Nubian descent in the, the world of um, competitive female bodybuilding. And um, th this is two ladies, as I said again, from two different eras. Um, one lady I was a big fan of back in the day, and another lady who I follow on um, social media. We are um, friends on um, Facebook, and I'm a admirer of hers. She, uh, this is the first lady here is one Miss Yolanda Hughes, considered one of the best posers um, back in the areas through part of the um, '90s. And the lady here is Pauline Nelson. Now, um, Miss Nelson is from the great state of New York, and um, she's been in um, competing in quite some time. And her story is amazing. If you um you know um, I would say follow her on Facebook. Um, I will you know in you know, I will leave her Facebook information in the description. And I'll tell you just follow her story. She has a great story. If you want to listen to her about it, you know I remember when she competed at the uh, last um, uh, Rising Phoenix and ladies do a little video about themselves and it was just a great video of how she told her story. But anyway, these are great amazing ladies. You know beautiful chocolate women like I like to say. Tasted dark chocolate, I like, <laughs> and they just have great physiques and great bodies, and just both from um, two different eras. And they would, I would love to see them compete in the same stage at the same time if it was possible. But anyway, this is a, a front lat spread, and great condition, great shape. And I see, I would think this is kind of, hmm, it's part of me want to say a draw, but. To me, I might edge it out a bit towards Pauline. Yeah. Now, now, when I say that, yeah, just Yolanda was had great shoulders, a great physique, but I think Pauline was a little bit more had a little more definition, more a little more cut. But you know, both are great, just great examples of, of, of women with great muscle. Right here is a a bicep pose, double bicep, uh, front double bicep, and I think uh. Here, I might give it to Yolanda a bit. Now, Pauline looks nice, but, you know, like I again, Yolanda was one of the best posers back in the day. She had just, you know, Yolanda, if you, if you follow me on my, um, on my channel, I had done a video about Yolanda. She had, a, she, had, she had a gymnastic background, and she was one of the best posers back in the day. I mean, um, check out her back in um, the 98 Miss Olympia with a head in um, Prague, and I think she took second to um, Kim Zavetsky at that show. Then it's, this is a, a rear um, back uh, lat spread. And, you know, I was trying to find a good picture of Pauline, like competitive, but I, like this, but I like this one, her training, working out. But I think I might give this one to Yolanda. A little bit, look, look like a little more definition. Now, Pauline looks pretty good from the back. I ain't gonna lie. But I think I'm gonna give this one to Yolanda a bit. Now this is a double back, uh, you know, uh, uh, rear uh, double back uh, pose, and um, shoo -hoo. I'm gonna have to give it to Pauline. Pauline, you can see how much definition the cut in her in her back. You can see, look at it. it look like a, you know, you can see how the muscles are just just the the definition in it. Now Yolanda looks pretty good, you know. And Pauline's doing the typical more the open hands, the, like the judges like the more open hand feminine look that the physique competitors doing. But in um, Yolanda's doing the, the typical, you know, strong, you know, more masculine kind of pose. But you know, you know, mm, like I said, I have to give it to Pauline on this one, even though her pose is not as uh, you know, strenuous compared to um, Yolanda's. I do have to give it to Pauline on this one. Now we have here is a, a, tr a tricep pose, and this one here, mm, 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 mm. Ooh, I'm she's pushing, it's pushing. I'm really pushing on this one. I might have to give it to Yolanda. I think because I think Yolanda's a little taller. I think her arms are a little longer compared to Pauline's, and I think you know her being taller. Might be a difference, you know. She has longer arms and longer reach, and sometimes women with longer arms can just pull that, that little can pull a little bit more out of that, that uh, that uh tricep compared to women who's little might be, you know. I think uh, 
Uh, Pauline might be like about five five, maybe five four, and I know that uh Yolanda Roy was around about five six, five seven. So you know, but you know, I think that's what I think I give it to Yolanda on this one. And here we have a side chest, very muscular pose. And again, I am kind of torn. So the part of me that's I'm an old schooler again. I think I would give this one to Yolanda. Now y'all might be might be different. Yes, I think Pauline has a great bicep, but I think by looks of uh, Yolanda, she had a little more detail, in it, especially her chest. And I think Yolanda didn't get did, no, I think Yolanda didn't get implants. Maybe later down in career, but Yolanda had a great chest. And Pauline, she has implants, and that's the thing is always the thing. implants kind of kind of ruins the chest a bit. You don't see much definition because it gets the way of the styration and the definition of the chest when you have implants. It pushes away the muscles a bit. And then we have, a, you know, uh, abdominal and thighs. And I, mm, I think I might have to give that to Yolanda. And the thing with Pauline, this is, this is, this is something that hurts a lot of female bodybuilders that have kids. Is that when you have kids, because Pauline has two kids, you, it affects your abdominals. Now she has great abdominals, but Pauline, you know, but uh, Yolanda looks to have more definition. And you know, Pauline, she's came to this bodybuilding, uh, uh, bodybuilding a little bit late in life. She's in her, uh, in her late forties, about fifty. But she's in great condition for a woman her age. And you know, this is this is a uh, Yolanda in her ooh early tw well, mid to late twenties, early thirties. And the thing is that you know, she can see you can see the definition in her um, in her abdominals. And you know, Pauline has good abs. But like I said, that's the side effect of when you have kids before you become a fresher bodybuilder is that it affects your abs. And sometimes that, 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 um, the abdominal muscle wall can be strained a bit. But she has great abs. But I think Yolanda has a little better. And then this is a free posing. And, you know, and I was trying to find a, one of more of Pauline's more, I mean, Yolanda's more, uh, her more, uh, um, what I would say, uh, um, um, era bad, you know, um, you know, more her more, um, you know, gymnastic style of, of posing. And I think this one, with I think I'd give it to uh, Yolanda. It's, I mean, I'll give it to um, Pauline a bit. I like this one with Yolanda, it's pretty good, but I was trying to find something more, you know, to uh, you, um, Yolanda's posing style. Um, bicep, you know, I was trying to find a good one with Yolanda, but I think Pauline takes this one here. The glutes, mmm. You, Pauline got a, <laughs> she got some nice glutes. I was trying to find something more uh, revealing, but the thing is with Pauline, she's more conservative, conservative when she comes to her pose, and she don't do a lot of uh, uh, what you would call um, cupcake stuff like a lot of the girls do. But if I give it to anybody, I might have to give it to Yolanda. She has a great set of glutes, great, you know, look at the, you know, great set of calves. You know, if I could have found a, a picture with, of Yolanda with more detail, but you can see that dress. That's a nice dress, and you can see that hump on her. Even you know, for for a female bodybuilder, she has a hump, <laughs> and it's been quite a few. That's a hard thing about, especially if you are a black woman. Especially uh, what I know about Pauline, she is of a uh, uh, West Indian descent, you know, and that's that's a hard thing about to get rid of is that if you have a you know a nice round brown, that's just hard, you know. <laughs> and here, here, you know, this is a pose I found with a. Uh, Yolanda, you know, and his, uh, uh, Pauline, you know, this is something that I would see, think, right here, the one here with, with Yolanda on her, uh, with Pauline on her head, that's something you, you see, um, Yolanda do, and here this is just basically, uh, Yolanda doing a split. I was really trying to find something where there was a comparison, they compare each other, but they're pretty good, this is pretty good, you know, but, you know, they're both great women who are, were amazing, you know, you, uh, I mean, just at the height of their careers, I mean, especially Yolanda Hughes, I was a big fan of hers. You know, she was a second runner-up in 98 for the Miss Olympia. And after that, she bowed out after 99. And, you know, this is just a beautiful, this is, I like this picture, you know. You, ooh, 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 ooh. I think, this is, I think, um, part of me remember, I think Yolanda did get breast implants. And this is before she got them. And I, I found this one with uh, Pauline. I mean, whew. what is, is this something sexy about wet female muscle? I mean, <laughs> Water or baby oil. I think I like baby oil more because water kind of runs off and it dries off after water. Baby oil sticks on a little better. 
but this is just classic you know just beautiful chocolate skin women and just you know beautiful women just great great physiques different eras but like i said this is something where if like i said again if we can bend the space time continuum and have them on the stage together what it be like i mean you know classic 90s yolanda hughes versus you know new millennium um uh pauline um nelson i mean these would be two ladies you would love to see on the stage i mean you know you know and just it's just amazing you know just beautiful great just i, I love like i said again i love my chocolate sisters you know they're just beautiful and um i want to ask you who do you think who do you like who's your favorite you know who would you like to see would you like to see you know would you prefer, you prefer yolanda you prefer pauline i mean it's just what preference you like i mean you want to go back to old school 90s or you want to go today bodybuilders i mean like these are both beautiful women in their own eras and um i know uh Yolanda's still around. She's, you know, she. I've seen some pictures of her. She, uh, uh, of her now. Um, I know. Uh, I did a video some time ago where she's um, she's divorced and she's still in the game. I mean, she ever, she comes to some shows every now and then. Pauline, right now, she's been sitting out training because she's good friends with Kai Green because I follow her on Facebook. And I'm gonna leave um, the uh, her uh, Facebook uh, a Facebook link to her. So if you want to holler, you know, talk to her, you know, ask some questions, you know. She should be cool with it because I think she's a good person. And, you know, her backstory is just so interesting. You know, like I said, if you can find that, um, uh, that was it, I think it was a 2018 Miss Olympia where she competed, no, uh, Rise of Things where she competed, and you can find that video where she did about herself, you will love the story, what she her, what she went through and her story and her background. And um, Yolanda's history, how she got into the sport, are just, they just both have both great stories to tell about themselves. But like I said, um, these are great ladies I picked because, you know, even though they may not be like the top big superstars that a lot of people follow, but they're the ones, you know, I think I like. I'm a big fan of. So, so whoever you feel like is your pick in the comparisons, you know, put in the description. And if you're like a classic, uh, or if you're a fan of a classic like Yolanda Hughes or you're a fan of a modern like um, Paulina, uh, Pauline Nelson, just say so, you know. But like I said, give them all respect for these ladies. And they're great competitors, and they're beautiful ladies. Anyway, this is your man, all the way to George Page, aka the Emperor of Female um, Bodybuilding Talk, coming to you, you know, coming to you live on YouTube. Like, don't like, subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm out.